what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for the galaxy note 9 and today we're back with a temper glass screen protector case combination from Spigen. this is going to be called their thin fit 360 it includes a temper glass screen protector and then that thin fit speaking case offer a decent price like $17.99 which is pretty cheap so I'll throw up the link in the video description if you guys want to check this one out obviously there's not a lot of great options for tempered glass screen protectors for the Note 9 anyway so we'll check this one out and see if it's worth that price point which is decent especially considering you're getting a case as well so this is the presentation actually a little more premium than you expect from speaking at the little branding up top Note 9 real glass it shows you what you're going to get Looks like it's going to be a top and bottom. It's like going to be a snap together type of case, which is interesting because I haven't really got one of these cases, at least this type of style case, from Spigen before. So we'll check it out together. On the back, it's going to tell you a little more details about what you're going to get with that 360. And it should remain very, very thin. Hence the name Thin Fit, guys. All right, let's go and bust it out and see if it's a hit or a miss for that Note 9. Pop it open like this. Let's check it out together. I'm kind of curious about this one. I was on the fence about buying it when it was first released. And then I saw some decent reviews for it. So, and I've been looking for another tempered glass screen protector. I've been trying to some different ones. And there's really not a lot of great options. So, I mean, this, I think I did a review on the Bodyguards one. And, and to be honest with you, it's about the same as the rest of them with the, uh, you know, non full adhesive. So, I'm expecting this one to be kind of similar. But we'll check it out with that price point being on point. Let's see what we're getting here. Got some literature maximize touch sensitivity well that's very important with this note 9 is to turn up that touch sensitivity button so go on there try to find it on these advanced features they actually give you a layout how to find it which is very nice from Spigen because if you don't turn that touch sensitivity on with this temper glass screen protector it's going to feel really really terrible and then you got some instructions how to do the application here's the temper glass screen protector here's the actual case itself so this is a two-part case, really it snaps on. So this is the actual shell itself. And it's got a nice premium feel to it. Got that matte finish to it, matte black. Very soft type, almost a soft rubber feel to it, which feels very premium. Got a Spigen branding right there with a little logo right there. Got the camera cut out, fingerprint sensor cut out. Got the, all the, not, all the uh, volume up and down, all covered up. And then the bottom, and it's I think this is actually the bottom let's be honest so there's the bottom and then the top that's gonna snap into place so let's go and check this out what we're gonna get with the temper glass screen protector and again you can't really go wrong for this is a decent price for that two-part protection considering you'll pay you know anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks for a good temper glass screen protector anyways so you really can't beat that so here's the actual microfiber cloth got a you know decent decent amount of weight to it keep that around dust removal stickers are very important got your wet wipe and that's pretty much it here's the main feature or one of the main features co-branded made, fe made features here's a tempered glass screen protector you can see it's definitely not going to be full of adhesive it's got the black around the edges and that's going to be where the adhesive is going to take place so there's really nothing in the middle that's going to seal it but you can see how it's kind of curved it does have a nice premium feel to it where you can see it's a little bit more curved than some of the ones i've reviewed so you can see that right there that's probably a good angle of the actual curvature so overall it feels pretty premium it's got a nice weight to it as well so let's go and check this out we'll try to do the installation on video so look how easy that was to take off now this i think this was the bodyguards one now you just got a little bit of adhesive on the sides little bit of adhesive on the sides and then top look how much look how little pretty much stick that is so if you i'm kind of curious has anybody dropped their phone with one of these type of screen protectors and they just pops off the screen because i mean really if that's the only thing covering it if it hits it just right i can't imagine that it takes too much to pop off just you know kind of curious about that if you guys have an experience about that let's take the wet wipe wipe it down wipe it down maybe struggles there we go definitely got a lot of moisture on this one this is very very moist wet wipe so don't be afraid to get it a little bit wet wipe it down corners cracks speaker grills whatever you got just wipe it down don't be afraid of it. don't be scared of it get it cleaned up 
That's the first thing. Do it in front of some good lighting is very important. That's my main advice to anybody putting on a screen protector. Good lighting to do it. Because you're only getting one of these. You only get one chance. Obviously, you can try to fix it. But usually when you try to fix it, it's not as it's not as nice. It's going to miss something. And you're going to have... I mean, to me, I've tried to fix it before. And I still see what I missed. Because it usually doesn't come out just right. So there we go. It looks pretty decent. Then I'll take the microfiber cloth. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Get it dried off. Okay. Then what I'll do is take this dust removal sticker give it a quick over it's pretty decent all right let me do this guys i'm gonna put the video on pause while i read the instructions i'm terrible about instructions but i want to read this a little bit to see if we need to use the actual case as the installation tray so hold tight we'll be right back we'll wrap this bad boy up guys welcome back so i went ahead and put the actual case on so you see it just basically snaps right into place you're going to put this one on first and then snap the two ends together and it's pretty easy and actually it feels really really nice in the hands one of my first impressions of overall feeling so what we're going to do is i really went ahead and i think i did a little bit backwards we're supposed to put it on first but we'll give it a quick another wipe down just to get that dust that may have been put back on it real quick and then we'll finally do the dust removal sticker they give you plenty so keep that in mind don't be scared to use these things and keep one handy if you're about to do the installation so there you go get the corners you can see there may be some that pop into place get the top get the bottom there you go get the, again get the edges as well so that looks pretty good i'm just gonna grow with it just for the sake of this video so let's go ahead and take the tempered glass screen protector basically this should be pretty easy you just got this one layer that's going to come off this is the back so you're going to take this one off and then it should you can see that takes off and there's no adhesive in the middle so what you want to do is line it up at the top make sure you're not touching the actual sides try to don't avoid that glue on the inside as well of the corners so then set it into place start in the middle and work your way out is what I do because they got to get the air out of it before it actually seals. The seal part is gonna be the black borders. So make sure you get that middle part first. Try to get as much air out as possible. Then you start working your way around the corners to seal it. There you go. Let's check this out. Look at this together. And give it another wipe down. This actually looks pretty decent. For that price, I think this is this might be a pretty decent one. Now, one thing I will tell you about these, they don't have quite the most natural feel to them. You'll get a lot more fingerprints on this one. But my first impression is the fact that you are getting very nice protection edge to edge. So let's go check this out and do the review of the case first, and then we'll check out the screen protector. So this is what you're going to get. This is going to how this is how it's going to look. Very nice protection. Got the fingerprint sensor cut out. It's a little bit hard to get to. It's, not, it's kind of not as smooth as drop as I would like, but it's not that bad. You get some nice camera cut out. Look at this. So this is a thin case. Look at how much camera cut out you're going to get. That camera coverage, good deal. From that angle, you can't even see it. So very nice job with the camera coverage for show. Let's check out this. Now, one thing I was impressed when I started putting this thing on is actual lip protection. And I say lip protection because this one is a tough, it's a curved screen, so you're really not getting any side lip but you are getting a lot of tie look at that top lip right there top lip on the bottom so you drop it you're hoping it's going to drop and hit that lip coverage first then you got this tempered glass screen protector covering edge to edge so you're completely covered look at that it's very close to the edges all the way around the borders so you're getting some really nice coverage for such a minimalist case and it really doesn't add a lot of bulk at all volume up and down are clicking responsive Bixby button will avoid hitting that like we always do. Cutouts look precise and clean. You can see they're, you know, that's a little bit bigger cutout than probably. Got kind of probably tighten it up just a little bit, but I'd rather have it big than too small. S pin, easy access. Give you guys a look at that. Very nicely done. Put that back into place. Speaker grill. 
and then the power button is clicky and responsive and again this is going to add some decent grip to you as well so overall i'm actually really impressed with this is this is this tempered glass free protection going to be the, the most premium thing in the world no absolutely not but for that price point you're getting a tempered glass screen protector a case that's giving you full edge to edge protection for under 20 bucks i think they actually did this right so anybody looking for the complete package that doesn't give you a huge amount of bulk this is probably going to be a hit let me know what you guys think in the comment section is it a hit is it a miss hit the subscribe button we'll see you guys next time